Sometimes individuals know at an early age that their passion for something can lead to their professional career path. David Hinson is a perfect example of chasing your passion and making a dream become reality. David, a 1995 graduate of Jamestown High School, where he set records for the rushing record and tied the state record for scoring 35 touchdowns in a single season, leading the Red Raiders to a state championship. He was named the New York State Class A Co-Player of the Year and First Team All-State, as well as winning the Conley Cup for being the best football player in Western New York and was the Post Journal Player of the Year as well. David also excelled in the track and field, holding the record for the 400-meter hurdles and claiming the state record. After his graduation, he accepted a full scholarship to his football talents at the University of Buffalo for four years and was truly a gifted athlete. David's professional career started in 2002, working in the scouting department for the Buffalo Bills. He then held positions with the New Orleans Saints, Cleveland Browns, New York Jets, and Philadelphia Eagles, ironically enough. In 2017, he was hired by the Kansas City Chiefs Scouting Department and was promoted to co-director of college scouting this past year. As you can see, his passion for football has led him to a very successful career in the National Football League. Proud to announce David Hinson as a 2023 inductee. Thank you, guys. I got a written speech like everybody else, too. So, um, First, I'd like to thank um, Chicago Hall of Fame uh, for being an inductee this year. I'd like to congratulate all the other inductees that are going in this year. Um, it's, a, it's a special year, too, to go in with, with Sheldon Battle, um, Bradmar boys, you know, kids just growing up, having a good time, and, and look at where we're at now. It's, 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 it's awesome. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like, I'm very thankful for all my football coaches, all my track coaches, all my teammates, uh, all the support that they gave. I, I'm a lucky individual from that standpoint, from midget football all the way through college. Um, I was surrounded by great people. Uh, without those coaches and, and people giving me this opportunity, uh, I wouldn't be here today. Um, at first, I would also like to thank my wife, Lindsay, and my daughter, Aza. They weren't able to be here today, um, but they're, they're my support through my college career. Um, my job as a scout is not an easy job. It takes a lot of time, uh, a lot of travel, and they make a lot of sacrifices for me to do what I want to do and to live the dream that I live. So uh, I'm very thankful for them and the support that they give me. Um, you know, those, those, uh, those who know me really know that I'm not about individual awards. Like, that's not my thing. I, but however, this is an opportunity for me to say thank you to all the people that have supported me, helped me be the person that I am today. You know, so I wanted to do, have a few words uh, for them uh, today. So of course, I have to start with my mom, Eleanor Henson. Um, she worked very hard to provide uh, and show me the importance of uh, what a strong worth ethic does and also to persevere through life, life's challenges. Um, I can always count on her to be my number one fan. She was always my number one cheerleader. Um, she, she was there for me. I just want to say thank you, Mom. My, my uncles and aunts, they were there cheering for me. Uh, my Uncle Joe, he helped me go to college. He helped me uh, take all my stuff to college. Um, and it, wasn't, it didn't go unappreciated. You know, sometimes little things, people don't, they take those for granted. But I'm lucky to have a family like I have. Thank you to my family for all your support that you've given me. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Through, throughout, life, throughout life, people come and go. Some affect you more than others. Uh, I was so lucky to have a, a few that helped encourage me uh, in my self-belief, my self-confidence um, on and off the field. In sports, one of my coaches that helped me make the greatest strides were, was Dave Reinhart. I, I remember it like it was yesterday, sophomore year, um, Dave comes up to me, he's like, you want to be better in football? Uh, my answer is, of course I want to be better at football. Um, so he's like, well, then you need to run track. And so what do I do? I run track, and he, he wasn't lying. I became a better football player. I became a top-level track athlete. And just from the guidance that, that he gave me, um, I, I truly appreciate you. Thank you, Dave Reinhardt. Um, <clears throat> 
So the second person, second person that uh, is a little more surprising, um, the second person is a, is a teacher, and school wasn't my favorite. She knew it wasn't my favorite. Um, but Maureen, De Maureen Demas, she, um, Maureen Demas, she, she, sorry. She wouldn't let me get away with my little tricks. <clears throat> um, she, she, you know, she never, she never gave up on me. It didn't matter when I, when I cried or yelled. It didn't matter, like I'm about to cry now today. Um, <laughs> if, I tried to, if I tried to skip out on, in, in school, after school meeting, if we had an after school meeting, I tried to skip out, she'd hunt me down and pull me in. <laughs> you, you know, she, she, you, you, can't, you, can't have more, you can't have enough people like her around you as a person. Um, she taught... She taught me you can overcome even their most difficult obstacles in school and in life. The third person I'd like to mention is, is Luis Rodriguez, my best friend. Flew all the way from Colorado out to support me. Um, he was my biggest competition. Uh, we competed against each other in everything. In track, uh, we, at practice, we, we competed against each other every day on the basketball court. We even had eating contests. It didn't matter. We were always competing. Um, I'm not sure if he really was aware uh, at the time, but he pushed me to be the, the person that I was. He pushed me to um, know that I can be whatever I needed to be as long as I push myself through things. Um, he's also the person when I needed someone to talk to, if I needed to vent, if I needed a laugh, if I needed to problem solve, Lewis was there for me. Um, and I know he always has my back. When you reflect, when you reflect about things um, that pe and people that have passed away, oftentimes they're the ones that leave the biggest mark on you in your life. And then you always wish that they were there for your greatest accomplishments. So I can't, leave, I, I can't leave here today without recognizing the important people in my life that have passed on. <clears throat> I would like to give them their flowers for their impact that they had on me. Very few, few people know <clears throat> very few people know in, college, <clears throat> in my senior year in high school why I used to take a knee and point to the sky. It was for my friend Willie Hayes who passed away from cancer. <laughs> Uh, he was a childhood friend, childhood friend that was my neighbor. We had a we had a great time. We'd play outside, play football in the yard uh, with him and all the my the rest of the people in the neighborhood. And it fostered my relationship and my love for football and helped create the player that I had became. So thank you, Willie. But growing up in Bradmar, there was. One other person that was even more influential. This person was one. This was someone that I idolized. Uh, he looked. I respected him, admired him. He was like a big brother to me. I loved playing football out front of his house, just in hopes that he would come out and play. I remember in eighth grade, I begged him to come to my game. He was in high school at the time, and surprisingly, he showed up. I scored four touchdowns. In that game, he smiled. The next day, he told everyone that I was going to be the next great thing, Jamestown High School.
He always challenged me, and I strive to be as fast and strong as him. He taught me how strong the mind is and how it's all, you always, all, all he used to say is mind over matter. You can do anything you truly believe in. Thank you, Richie Nance. Thank you. Last, I'd like to thank my grandparents, Eleanor Henson, George Henson. They always made sure that we, that we didn't go hungry. That also, if I, if I really needed something, they always came through for me. They instilled a discipline that still carries me through life today. My grandfather would bring me to Chautauqua County Sports Hall of Fame banquet, and it was always a special time for us because he knew how much I loved sports. As a kid, my grandfather always made me wear a suit uh, to every banquet as a young, as, from a young age. At the time, I hated it because all the other kids were wearing regular clothes, running around, having a good time. I'm in a suit. <laughs> He, he, taught, he taught me uh, many things th uh, from a young age, showing me how to carry myself, respect people, and make sure people respect you. I said, uh, you know, there's many, there's many things over the years that helped from him, that he helped me with um, over the years to help shape and mold me as the man I am today. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Grandpa. So today, as I accept this wonderful award, I believe all the, my, all the friends and family I talked to, uh, talked about today, I bring them with me. Uh, yes, did I have to put in the work? Did I have to put in the time? Did I have to put in the effort? Yes, I did. But without them, I would never be standing here today. Thank you. give David a ring, but he's got one a, a little bit nicer, <laughs> and he's got another one coming for this finger. <laughs> well, you can give this to your daughter. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, David. Thank you.